Hey all dear sense, let's see this very challenging problem of kinematics from Pathfinder. It's MCQ question number 22. The question states three ants A, B and C are crawling on a large horizontal tabletop always occupying vertices of an equilateral triangle. Size of which may vary with time if at an instant speeds of A and B are V and VB. Which of the following conclusions can you make for the speed VC of C? Four options are given. We have to tell which of the four options is correct. So this is indeed very challenging. So I can approach this question through two ways. One thing is a complex number approach that would be easier to uh, arrive at the answer. But uh, most of the students who are doing kinematics are in the class 11. So they do not, they might not be conversant with the complex number. Another approach is to use the uh, vector method. So that I am going to take on this question, the vector approach. So. The one thing is clear that they all lie on the same plane and uh, only thing I know that uh, the ants always lie at the vertices of the equilateral triangle the size of which may vary. So suppose uh, this is a equilateral triangle these three are the ants and the most general motion of them in the plane would be kind of a, this kind of a CTRM. So and while doing the CTRM this equilateral triangle at the vertices of which these three ants are there may shrink or may expand. So that I cannot make here but I can just make you uh, visualize the motion. So the most general motion is like this. So uh, this motion can be a superposition of two motion. This is a centroid. Uh, I can translate the centroid and then with respect to centroid I can rotate the whole system and uh, note that while doing all this thing the size of this equilateral triangle may shrink. So at a, at a general moment, I just want to find the relationship between the coordinates of the vertices. If I have a relationship between the coordinates of the vertices, so by differentiating that thing, I can get a relationship between their velocity. So that is going to be my approach. So, so this is a equilateral triangle at the initial moment and at the vertices and a B and C are there. I am taking an uh, coordinate system whose origin is at the centroid of the equilateral triangle like this. So this is x axis and this is y axis and this is the centroid. So now at a later moment so let's assume that the centroid has uh, translated here and with respect to centroid the whole system has rotated and while rotated size may have changed. So like this. So this is a position at a future moment like this. G is, G is here. This is A and this is B and this is C. Now I want to see first uh, position of A, B and C directly I am looking from the centroid. So the position of A, I can choose a better visual color. So, position vector of A with respect to G is this. This is the position vector of C. This is position vector of B. And these are all equal in the magnitude and uh, their length is obviously because it's an equal triangle. So, the distance of uh, A, B and C from the centroid is a 1 by root 3 times of the side of the equilateral triangle. That is a simple result of the equilateral triangle. So, that I can write here, I will be needing letter. Okay, I can just directly write the vector equation. And one more thing that these three angles uh, would be equal and equal to 120, magnitude are same, uh, and these three angles are equal. So, all these three displacement, like displacement of A with respect to G plus displacement of B with respect to G plus displacement of C with respect to G that will add up to 0. So, R A G is a R A minus R G, R B G is R B minus R G, R C G is R C minus R G and take all the R G on that side. So, that will get R A plus R B plus rc is equal to 3 times of rg and that is a basically direct result also. So that is my equation 1 here. So 
this equilateral triangle has come here this is a b and c and this is the centroid and i had got the equation ra plus rb plus rc is equal to 3 rg what i want to do i want to subtract on from the both sides 3 rc 3 rc i want to subtract from the both sides why we'll see if i subtract here just take 3 common so that would be this thrice of rg minus rc so this is uh, now the lhs will become R A plus R B minus 2 R C and that will be 3 R G C. This is what? This is a displacement of G with respect to C. That is this vector. And this vector, if I extend this, this is perpendicular to R A B. Uh, I just repeat, I am repeating the result that the distance of any vertex of a equilateral triangle from the centroid is 1 by root 3 times of side and that you can immediately get. Suppose this is some x and this is 30 degree. So, this distance will be how much that x cos 30 and uh, this is a double of that thing. So, you will get immediately if, if this is L, so that will be L root 3 or if this is L that will be L by root 3. So, magnitude of GC is uh, 1 by root 3 times of magnitude of AB and see this vector AB. Suppose this is AB vector and another thing is that uh, GC vector is perpendicular to AB vector. So, I want to write GC and AB in a vector form. So, can I write uh, GC vector can be uh, obtained by the by some cross product. Way. So, suppose uh, this whole thing is an XY plane. So, AB and GC are in the XY plane. So, if I make a cross product of uh, AB vector with the K cap. So, again that will come in the x y plane and whatever we will get that will be this vector will be perpendicular to both a b and uh, k cap. So, that will be definitely along the g c vector and just I want to check the direction. So, a b is along this direction and k cap if I make a cross product. So, that will be along this a b along this g c. So, a b cross k cap has a magnitude uh, of a b. And AB has a magnitude of how much? Uh, root 3 times of GC. So, that is basically uh, root 3 times of GC. And GC is basically the displacement of G from C. So, that you can write root 3 times of RGC. So, this thing that I had written here, I will rewrite here. So, this is 3. GC, GC I will write now how much? Uh, 1 by root 3 times of AB cross K cap and this will become root 3. AB vector is what? AB is the displacement of B with respect to A. So, that is a RB minus RA. So, I have got the base relationship from where I will get the answer. Now, let us go to the next page. So, let me rewrite that thing. Ra plus Rb minus 2Rc is equal to root 3 times of what was that? Rb minus Ra cross K cap. Rb minus Ra cross K cap. 
So we've got a relationship between the positions of A, B and C. Just differentiate this equation. We'll get a relationship between their velocities. So differentiating with respect to time, uh, we will get that will be uh, directly I'm writing the differentiation of position of A with respect to time will give the velocity of A. So that is the velocity of A plus velocity of B minus twice of velocity of C. This is a root 3 velocity of B minus velocity of A uh, cross K cap. So, keep Vc here and send all those things on the other side. So, twice Vc is equal to Va plus Vb uh, minus root 3 Vb minus Va cross K cap. Now, I am introducing two unit vectors. One unit vector is a EA vector. This EA vector is along uh, VA vector. So, I can write VA vector is equal to speed of A, VA, EA. And I am also introducing another unit vector, say EB. This is along PB vector. So, VB vector can be written as a magnitude of VB into EB. And remember, uh, these EA and EB may change with respect to time because they, are, they can rotate. So, this thing in place of VA, I am writing VA EA cap. In place of VB, I am writing VB EB cap. Same here. Minus root 3 VB EB cap minus VA EA cap and then cross K cap. More simplifications. Twice VC. So take the all the VA term together. So here I am taking a VA common. So EA cap and where is this? This minus root 3 and that will be become plus plus uh, root 3 ea cap cross k cap ea cap cross k cap and then then take the vb term this is a vb uh, from here eb cap and then minus root 3 a B cap cross K cap and here only in this expression only I just want to divide by 2. So, if I divide by 2, so I will get that whole thing by 2. And the same thing here also that whole thing divide by 2. Now see, this EA cross K cap is perpendicular to EA. So, this vector and this vector are perpendicular to each other. So, their magnitude would be what? The magnitude would be uh, square root of its magnitude is 1 by 2, its magnitude is root 3 by 2. So, their magnitude would be 1 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2 whole square and that is actually 1. So, that whole thing that is inside the bracket is also a unit vector. And that unit vector in turn depend on the direction of that VA vector because it depends on the direction of EA vector. So, this is a unit vector. Uh, suppose this unit vector, let me write uh, say some a u and cap and same way this is also a unit vector this is also a unit vector and this direction of this vector will depend on the direction of eb at a certain moment because eb is along the vb so that unit vector let me assume that is a u2 vector so that is a, a vb a u2 vector 
So I've got the expression for the VC. Now VC I've got VC is equal to uh, speed of A, some unit vector plus speed of B, some unit vector U2. And if these unit vectors are in the same direction, then the magnitude of VC will become VA plus VB. So if U1 cap and U2 cap are parallel, then parallel mean angle theta is equal to 0. So then VC can be a VA plus VB. And if they are anti-parallel, so theta is equal to 180 degree. So VC would be the uh, VA positive difference of VA and VB. So I can say that VC the speed of C can be between uh, VA minus VB and can also be between VA plus VC. So the best option that I can get from the given options uh, is option uh, D and that is the answer. Thank you.